All right, guys, I just, honestly, I don't know what's going on with me. I've been wanting to film this video for like two days and I just, my anxiety honestly has just been really high and I don't know if it's because I'm back traveling. Like I just got back from LA last week. I'm going back this week, tomorrow actually. And I've just been busy. So I don't know if it's because of that. I'm gonna hope that it's just travel anxiety. I already get anxiety when I'm traveling anyways, but I just have felt really off. Just being real with you guys. We're just gonna be vlogging. It's okay to feel like this sometimes. Most of the time I really do just give myself a second. It's just spilled my coffee. It's fine. Anyways, I'm gonna give myself grace. We're gonna keep vlogging. I I have to prep for the trip. I'm gonna show you guys a little White Fox haul, which I'm excited for, for my trip. So thank you to White Fox for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna do a little bit of a workout when I get home, cause that always helps my anxiety. And then get ready, we're gonna film the haul. And then I actually have a La La Land date today. So we're gonna get going. This candle, by the way, from the Coop, it smells so good. If you guys want to support a small business um, with candles, I love their stuff. I've been burning them all around my house and they just smell so good. We are doing a White Fox boutique haul. These clothes came right right in time for my next trip to LA. So I'm very excited. I'm actually already wearing a dress from them. I got lotion all over it just now, so that's on me. I love White Fox, as you guys know. White Fox Boutique also stocks White Fox Swim and they have White Fox Active. I wear their swimsuits actually all the time. Afterpay is available for all US, Australian, and New Zealand customers. They also offer express worldwide shipping and you guys can use code Kenzie site-wide, excluding collaboration. This is the first thing that I have. It's really cute. I love dresses like this. I love wearing wearing them with sneakers or even dressing them up with like a lacy heel. They're very versatile. They're also really flattering and they're just like so comfortable. Okay, so this is the dance around midi dress. And then I have the same dress, but in this like blue gray color. It's actually the color steel. I love this thing, like wearing this with like air forces. I am obsessed, like that is so cute. So here is the dress in steel. I think it is so comfortable. It's very stretchy. Also, you can like ruch it up around your stomach, which I find is like a little bit more flattering. I love this. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. This is gonna be kind of like a staple of mine in the summer. Also, even wearing this with like boots and in the fall, like transitioning to like a long coat, like I'm into that look. So, love this. I got these two pieces, which are really casual, kind of like terry cloth pieces, good for like leg days, pool days, things like that. The first are these blue shorts which I love and just pairing these with like on top of a bikini. This is the last minute tear shorts in blue and I got a size medium. They're really, really cute. They, these remind me of like childhood, honestly, like terry cloth. I love that. And then I also got this top, which has matching terry cloth shorts. It's this cute little terry cloth top. And then this is the beach house terry crop, small hot pink, but even wearing this with like denim shorts, I think is super cute. So love that top. For this top, I did get this in a size small. I probably needed a size medium. I mean, it fits fine, but I think I would go up a size. These shorts are a size medium. I just decided I'm gonna go stop by and see my niece as she's swimming. So I'll be wearing something like this, but I just like love, I don't know, I love the terry cloth moment, you know? This tank top, I love. It's this little blue satiny top. This is the Kiss Me Bustier, small in ice blue. I just think you can wear this in so many different ways. Like even if I paired it with a skirt, um, I just think it's really cute. I love the color as well. It's so fun. I'm always looking for a really cute top because I feel like I have dresses, I have that stuff, but for some reason, the tops that get me. This shirt is so pretty. I mean, the color, oh my gosh, guys. It's really pretty. It looks and feels way more expensive than it actually was. I'm sorry that I'm styling everything with these blue shorts right now, but uh, I'm not styling. I'm just wearing them right now. I just think this is the prettiest top. I love the color. I love the fit. I love the look. So cute. This dress is so cute. I am obsessed with this. This is the take a moment mini dress in small. It's an obviously hot pink and I just have been loving hot pink. I think things like these are just so flattering and fun. Like I just, Love this. I think it's so cute. Oh my God, I can't wait. All right, I don't have anyone to zip the back right now, but I love this dress, especially with like a tan on, you know? I just think it's super flattering and really fun. I also love pink. I don't know what happened to me, but all of a sudden I love color. And this is like the perfect dress especially for vacation, I am obsessed. Okay, I got these two tank tops. I love picking up tank tops from White Fox because I wear my White Fox Boutique tank tops actually like, honestly, probably like once a day. Um, yesterday, I wore a black one all day long. They're just really comfortable. They're really structured. They're thick enough to where you don't even need to wear a bra, which I love, especially in the summertime. So I love this cut. This is the on the go top small in the color beige. Um, it's just like a really good everyday tank top. Again, really structured anything I don't have to wear a bra with I'm all for okay 
Here are the world famous tank tops that I've been talking about. So structured, I'm not wearing a bra, so comfortable. I love the fit. I mean, they are just the most perfect tank tops. I feel like I'm constantly trying to buy like good basic tank tops and White Fox by far has my favorite. It's, they're just the best, I love them. Now I thought this tank top was really cute. It's a white tank top, but it's just like more unique, if you will. I thought this was super fun. It comes up a little bit in the background. I love the sides of it. It's just a little bit different. I love this top, like the idea of this top with denim. I think it's just so cute. I love the little cutoffs on the side. I love that it's very breathable. I like that it's not really like structured. I like that it doesn't really stick to your like stomach for like, you know, heat purposes. But I just think this is like a very, very cute, unique white tank top. Whereas like I normally stick to the basics. I really like this one. Okay, I got this blue top, which is backless. Great for summer because it's freaking hot. Um, I love this top. I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear of this. I honestly think I'm gonna even wear it into like the fall and winter. Love this top. I think the color is so pretty. I love this with like denim shorts. I just love that it's backless. I honestly, this might be my favorite thing in the haul. I wasn't expecting that, but when I tried it on, I really just love this top. So cute. I knew I had to get something in this print because there were so many different like options. Like if you like a fabric, they have it in every single dress cut. And I just loved this for some reason. So the top you guys will see on, it will make more sense on. And then the bottoms so of these skirts. So I just thought this was really cute and a fun little set. As you guys know, I love wearing sets because my outfit is already picked out for me and it's really easy. So I thought this was really cute. All right, so this is super cute. Cute. This is like more for a night out if I'm gonna like wear heels and stuff. Um, I love the print. I think it's fun It's great for vacation as well. Okay, so here's the top matching skirt I just I don't know. I really like this set. The material is really strong, but it's also light So I feel like comfortable in this for a night out, but also like not too hot Honestly, it also look, looks like it's way more expensive than it is, which I also love Speaking of sets, I got another chocolate brown set that I really love. This is a little wrap top and then a cute little wrap skirt. Again, you can wear these together, you can wear them separate. Um, I just love. I love this. I love things that are cropped, especially in the summer. I mean, pretty much most of what I wear is cropped, but I think this is so cute, very trendy. I just, I love this set, I think it's adorable. Speaking of my favorite color, I got a little brown like bustier top, which I thought was super cute. And then I also got it in black. These are just really good to have. You can pair them with anything. I think these look the best with jeans. I just think they're super cute. Okay, again, I have no one to tie or to zip up my top, but obviously I wouldn't wear them with these shorts. I'm just doing this for the try on. Um, these tops are just so good to have, really flattering. Also, they I have other ones like this from White Fox. What I like the most about them is that they actually stay up. I feel like sometimes like a strapless top will just kind of fall down, not these, I love them. Here is the brown that I love. I just think this top is so flattering, so cute, perfectly structured, and honestly, they fit really well. Normally, I like I said, I kind of stray away from strapless tops. I'm afraid they're gonna fall off. These don't, I trust White Fox. I also got this dress which like I will love wearing this with cowboy boots honestly. It's this chocolate brown dress. It's really loose fitted so it's really good for the heat and then this belt so it like cinches in. I think it's just. <laughs> All right so this is really cute too. I like how it's flowy. Doesn't like stick to you you know. I love the color. I love the cut. I think it's really flattering. Again this would be really cute with heels, over the knee boots, cowboy boots as always. Just kind of like a closer up look. Even if you took the belt off um, and you just wore it without being cinched or even like as like a really oversized top, like even over a bathing suit or something. Last thing I got are these sunglasses. They come looking so fabulous. I just thought they were so fun. Wow, I love, oh wait guys. These are, these are really something. These are actually probably my new favorite sunglasses. Wow, love that so much. All right guys, that is it for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're gonna go get some matcha. I have a little meeting there and get going with the day. All right, I put back on my white fox dress. I have a swimsuit on under this. Back from the pool. I'm actually about to shower and self tan. I'm going to 
get some food with some friends in a few hours. First things first, I need to self tan. That is very important. And then I'm going to change into this outfit because it's super loose fitted. So it's not gonna mess up my tan. I'm very excited. It looks so comfy. Okay, I actually changed into this from White Fox from I think my last haul with them. Just for the time being at least so my tan can dry. I need to go downstairs, get a few more things done. I did get some packing done for tomorrow, which is a good sign, but I need to go on my computer for probably like an hour. All right guys, I definitely look a little bit crazy. Also actually this morning, I met with Mackenzie. Guys, isn't it weird that my actual name is Mackenzie? Like, do you ever think about that? Not that you guys would like be thinking about that, but do I ever think about that? I forget sometimes. Okay. Anyway, she's gonna make some custom art for that wall, which I'm so excited about. Like, that's gonna be so cool. I feel like I have lost my ability to vlog for some reason. I've just been really hard on myself and just like my vlogs suck. I don't know why I'm like being so hard on myself, but I also just feel like I've lost all motivation and like inspiration to vlog. So I'm trying to like get back in the swing of things. I hope that like being in LA this week will make me more excited. And Phil and I are definitely filming together. So I'm excited for that. Oh, I also got my nails done the other day. I actually, okay, so these are my real nails. When I have like my long nails, I always get dip for my real nails and I go to um, Castle Nail at Mockingbird Station. I wanna say that's the name. It's the big nail salon at Mockingbird Station if you guys live in Dallas. I broke one of my nails for like the first time and it was my real nail and it was so painful guys. Like it was not good at all. I'm sorry if you guys feel like I've been like negative in vlogs. I'm just in like a weird funk honestly and I have been for the past week kind of what I was saying before. I never want these vlogs to feel like super negative or like I'm complaining. Like I really don't mean that at all. I I just think there's something like really off with me hormonally that I'm like in the process of getting taken care of. It's also like just normal and I feel like this happens to everyone. I don't know about you guys, but I've just been personally in the best place that I've been in in so long and I was just doing so well. And then honestly, like the time I got back from Scottsdale in LA, and I don't know, I just have been in like a really weird funk and I don't know what's wrong and I've been trying everything. I've been trying to like be easy on myself, give myself grace. Okay, but when I get back from LA, this is my plan of attack for getting things together. I get back from trips. I always make sure I immediately unpack, do all that stuff, but I wanna make sure that I am going somewhere to train at least three days a week. Preferably finding like a workout studio that I would work out at like Monday through Friday at least, but I'm open even to like personal trainers. I don't know, I definitely wanna make that in more of my routine where I'm getting out of my house um, in the daytime. I also find that during the weekdays, I will become very antisocial and like not really leave my house. And then on weekends, I am like with my friends 24 seven and I would like to be a little bit more social throughout the week or just be able, make sure that I'm seeing people throughout the week because it gets very isolating, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand or relate to working from home. But I feel like this is one of those things where I'm just gonna wake up one day and feel good again and feel totally fine. It's so weird, I know. Tonight, since I am leaving for a week, my friends and I are going to the Rustic and we're gonna get like our frozen marks that I'm obsessed with and just hang out. And I think that spending time with my friends is gonna be really good for me. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's why I went and saw my mom, my niece this morning at the pool. So I'm thinking that things are looking up, but if you're in a weird funk for like literally no reason at all, it happens to everyone. I'm trying to get out of mine. I'm normally a little more successful to get out of it than I have been, but we're working on it. It's okay. Don't shame yourself, it happens to everyone. All right guys, it is the next day. I went and hung out with friends last night and I honestly feel a lot better. I woke up feeling better, kind of what I was describing yesterday. I just woke up in a better mood. Um, I'm getting ready and I'm heading off to LA in a few hours, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to check out White Fox Boutique. Use code Kenzie. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, what was your favorite memory from Wizards? Oh, that's so hard. Um, my favorite memory from Wizards is we used to right because we filmed it in front of a live audience, and so right before the live audience, we would all come out and like do like hi, I'm so and so, and mm -hmm. they'd like announce us, and we'd all bow and then start the show. 